Now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. 616 now on this Monday morning in San Diego celebrates its 250th anniversary. We came across a little piece of history most people miss. And 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens is here in the Live Center. I know you're really excited about this story of a statue with quite a tale to tell. Yeah, this isn't really the kind of landmark that people would um, <clears throat> pause to <laughs> look at. But guys, this is Bum the Dog. And we went and sniffed out why this statue embodies the spirit of San Diego. He's not on the tour, and most people go for a walk right by him. Did you, did you even notice it as you walked by? <laughs> no. <laughs> but Bum the Dog sits, obediently, on the northeast corner of 4th and Island. This is quirky. The story of Bum starts in the 1880s. A ship arrived, and off came sort of a stowaway, a dog. No tags, no identity and he took up residence here in the gas lamp. Historian David Miller says Bum became an early symbol of San Diego, fetching food and love from all areas of town. This was the area that you had the bars, the saloons, the brothels. Um, north of Market was a little more of the respectable area, uh, but he traveled from place to place. And he had adventures. The statue is missing a paw because Bum lost his when he got hit by a train after a fight with another dog. A surgeon had to amputate part of Bum's leg, and, uh, and so he walked around with a limp for the rest of his life. Uh, but he was sort of this hero who, you know, stood up for himself and came out <laughs> roughed up but survived. Like the city at the time, a little rough, untamed, shaggy. I think Bum the dog tells us a lot about who we were in the 1880s and who we can be now. And while he may be ignored now. How many times do you think you've kind of walked by this this park and, and not seen that dog? Uh, a lot. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say. He's still top dog, leading the pack in America's finest city. I suppose he looks pretty relaxed now, which may be San Diego present day. Taking it easy. Now, Bum was so popular that his picture was put on early versions of San Diego's official dog licenses. The History Center in San Diego still calls their children's program Bum's Kids Club. In the Live Center, Jared Ahrens, 10 News. Oh, that is so awesome. What a great, great story. Great piece of history that uncovered. That was a fun one to put together, guys. I can't wait to go visit Bum. Yeah. <laughs> I like modern day Bum. How relaxed he is. How relaxed He's he is. Going yeah. with the groove now in San Diego. <laughs> Very apropos. Jared, thanks. Oh. And just like that, we're